I'm Racers Marshall Pruitt. This is the ass-kicking Argentinian Augustine Canapino. Dude, not only is he safely in his first ever Indianapolis 500, <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you have fans now who appreciate you here, American fans, who want to come and get your autograph and, and feel in the love but I also love the fact that you are doing something that's bigger than yourself here. You're an athlete, you're trying to achieve your dreams, but also with these beautiful colors of your country, your flag, but also your football club. You've got a lot going on here, man. Tell me about the emotions waking up this morning, knowing that this whole big dream you've been trying to achieve you're in your first Indy 500. Uh, it's a sp really special. It's really special because I never in my life I, I imagined that. Never, never. For me, this is really, really a lot. A again, because I come really far, really far from here. Um, I, I never expect that. Uh, Indy 500 is the biggest motorsport race in the world. And always my career was in my country with touring cars. So really far to the open wheels, to the Indy 500, to America, in the other side of the world. Um, it's, a, it's a really a dream come true. Of course, everything's happened thanks to Ricardo Juncos and Brad Honinger. They trust me, in me, and now I have the chance to, to do the race. And with these colors, with the, with the colors of Argentina, Muchachos. With the colors of the muchachos <laughs> of the world champions, so it's a really big, big honor for me and first Argentina and science, 83 years uh, racing in a Indy 500. So it's a lot, it's a lot. Uh, but that I, I say you before, I, I, I try to don't think too much yeah. on that because yeah. if I think too much, it's <laughs> a really big pressure. So I spoke with Augustine yesterday after his first qualifying run, and I said, hey, looks good, looks like you'll be in, everything okay? And did he just say, yes, I'm happy, we'll, we'll stay there? I said, no, this guy's an animal. Like, he's really nice and sweet and all that. This guy is an animal. He's like, no, there is more. I'm not happy, I wanna go faster. Tell me about that spirit, Augustine, because like I said, you're a very nice person, but when you get in that car, you start to flex. And <laughs> tell us about that side of you. Yes, of course. I am really, really competitive. I am here to do my best and to have a best performance possible. So always in my career, I try to win. Always, always. I am here to do my best and I want to do better because I know I have a better car uh, than P27. My car yesterday was to the maybe P20, P18, and I... I I try to do, but I, I touch the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in the in the say me hello. <laughs> yeah. And I had really good lucky because uh, honestly it was really riskard. Really it's a really riskard really moment. And for lucky I am in a one piece. Yes. They car too. But honestly I did a bit angry with my qualification because piece uh, 27 is not the position for for the car yesterday. Let's close on this. We've spoken about this before, but now that we're here at Indianapolis and the whole world is looking in like never before uh, each year in May, I was talking with someone from IndyCar saying how it's great to see fans and whatnot here really starting to have interest in you. And they told me on social media, they can post a photo of a popular champion driver or Indy 500 winner, and it will do well. Anything IndyCar posts of you on Instagram <laughs> or Twitter explodes like no other driver. Tell me about, your phone must be crazy seeing all the notifications of all your countrymen and countrywomen, all the people from Argentina wanting to connect with you and follow you. Tell me about that at the biggest place where folks check in. I think the reason is because, uh, again, the motorsport in my country is really, really popular and it's really, really important sport. And uh, I think we, we have a lot, a massive uh, fans there. 
and every every fans in Argentina, maybe another people, now is watching what happened with the Argentinian in the biggest race in the world. So I think this is the reason. It's not for me. <laughs> it's for Argentina. It's for the fans of Argentina. Uh, they love motorsports and they love the opportunity to to be here because again for us it's really every everything is really difficult for the south american people especially for argentina because unfortunately we we have a a poor country we have a really complicated country with a lot of problems with a lot of uh, limitations and be here uh, with you with indycar with indy 500 for us is a lot giving and something positive to follow uh, the people know that, so I, I know my history, the the problem with my with my pa with my father, the problem with my life history. Um, I think this is a reason the people is really enjoying the situation to to be here with with the Indy. One of the the great friends of the team, Gustavo Rosso, who does uh, media with you, shared some photos of you as a young boy with your father. And it was just a beautiful thing. And as you mentioned, losing your father, knowing how much he means to you. Tony Kanaan doing his final Indy 500. He always speaks about the importance of his father, knowing that he lost him as well. The significance there. It's not a mistake that for so many of us, our, our mother, our father, our parents, the inspiration who brought us here to Indianapolis, you carry him with you, uh, everything that you do. So just telling you. There are a couple of beautiful stories that stand out each month in Indianapolis. This guy right here, Augustine Canapino, he's definitely one of them.